Welcome to South Charlotte Sports Report. We are Zooming live tonight with the Providence Day School Soccer Seniors, and really excited to have them here. Let's get to know them. Grace, how are you tonight? I'm good. Tell us your name you? and position. I'm Grace Godwin. I play keeper. Um, and play keeper. Aubrey, Aubrey, what about you? Um, I'm doing good. Uh, my name is Aubrey Briggs, and I play midfielder. And Louisa? Yep, I'm Louisa Bynum, and I play center back or holding mid. All right. Coach Dudley, how are you tonight? Very well, so how are you doing? Tell me a little bit about these seniors and your, so and your uh, soccer team. Well, uh, firstly, they're a, a wonderful group of young ladies um, on and off the field. Um, you know, obviously this year was a huge disappointment for everyone. Um, you know, not only the, the teachers and coaches at the school, but the student athletes and more importantly, the seniors, um, and, uh, you know, my heart goes out to them. Um, you know, one thing we talked about yesterday on the senior celebration was, uh, you know, picking up that state championship last year feels a little bit sweeter now, Trip, not having seen the season out, you know? Yeah, at least you know uh, you have that to go back on. Uh, uh, Grace, tell me about that championship from last year. Um, it was a really great game. We all played um, our hardest. And, I mean, we got down early, but we fought back together and won it. So that was, it was really special. All right. If memory serves me correct, it was against another local team, right? Yes, Charlotte Latin. That's who I thought. I just didn't want to say I wanted you to say it. So that always feels good, right? Yes. Aubrey, what do you remember about that special uh, special game? Yes, yeah, so it was a great game. Played together as a team, um, you know, as we always do. But we were really bonded um, and ready to, you know, go into that game as a team, making sure that we were playing cohesively. Um, and then, of course, it was really hot that day. Um, so one thing that stuck out to me was one of our assistant coaches uh, brought a tank of water to spray us down with um, while we were on the bench or as players ran by just to try and keep us cool. So that was a really special memory from the game. Lisa, what do you remember? Uh, yeah, I just mainly remember we have we had a lot of seniors on the team that year who hadn't won a state championship yet. And so I was really close with a lot of them. So it was really important for me to like try to play for them and get them a state championship their senior year. So that was really special for me to be able to do that for them. Grace, what are you missing the most about, uh, I guess I'll use the word quarantine, about not being able to go to school? What are you missing the most about that? Um, just the senior traditions that I've seen. Um, I mean, I've been at Providence Day since kindergarten. Just so missing out on those and the soccer, just missing being with my teammates and stuff. So. so you're a lifer, right? Yes. Good. Aubrey, what are you missing the most right now? Um, similar to Grace, I've been at PD for a long time, um, ever since TK. So I'm a lifer as well. Um, and then Louisa is a lifer as well. So we are all missing um, those great traditions that we've been looking forward to. And then, of course, um, you know, missing out on this time with my teammates, um, getting to say goodbye to everyone and, you know, end out with another state championship. Louisa, what are you missing the most? Yeah, so us three have definitely been together for a while. We've all been there for like 14 years. But um, so, yeah, I just miss seeing my friends and seeing my teachers. They've all like worked super hard. So it's sad not to like get to say thank you to them in person and stuff. And then, of course, soccer and playing every day and seeing duds and stuff. Coach, you know, we always talk about what the kids are missing right now. But th this stuff, this is what we're going through is not easy on a coach either, is it? No, you know, um, I woke up this morning and, um, you know, today would have been uh, state semi-final day. We would have been playing, um, hopefully, a home game this evening. Um, and uh, based on what we were returning this past year, um, we had a young team as well. I mean, we, as you can see, we've got three seniors here, but there were seven freshmen on the team this year. That was the conf confidence I had in the group. Um, it's been tough. Um, 
but you know, holding on to those memories from last year and, um, you know, obviously selfishly getting to spend a lot of time with my own kids has been, has been kind of cool as well. Right. Grace, what's next for you? What, what are we, what will you, where will we find you this fall? I will be at Clemson University. Wow. How did you come to that decision? Well, um, my mom went to Clemson and I've grown up a Clemson fan. So it's always been my dream school. That will be fantastic. Aubrey? Yes, so I'm headed to uh, the new school Parsons Paris um, in France to study uh, fashion design. Ah, I remember that about you now. Let's talk about that a little bit. That is something that's just really a big part of your life, isn't it? Yes, sir. Tell me. Talk, talk to me about it. Yes. So, um, I, you know, over the years, I've just really gotten into um, different aspects of art, but especially, you know, fashion design um, and how that, you know, interacts with culture um, and, you know, a bunch of different things. Um, and so I've really fallen in love with fashion design um, and just how it's a way that we express ourselves um, and, you know, different parts of our identities. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing where my time in Paris and at the New School takes me. Wow, that's going to be incredible. Louisa, what about you? Yes, um, I'll be going to Washington and Lee University in the fall, and I'll also continue to play soccer there as well. That's right. You're excited about that, aren't you? Very excited, yes. <laughs> Good. Um, coach, if you could give me one word about each, all three of these girls, an adjective to describe them, what would it be about Grace? One word. Um, it can be two <clears throat> if it needs to be. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I would, I would say calmness with Grace. Um, the reason being that she goes from one sport to the next. So she stepped off of the basketball court, winning a state championship, straight onto the soccer field. And it was a seamless transition. Um, and she just has so much calmness about her, you know? Aubrey, um, what would you say? Aubrey, um, definitely her personality. Aubrey's personality is bubbly. Um, you know, she makes the group feel good. Everything around us, just, you know, it's a fun environment. And Louisa? Louisa, um, I would say resiliency. Um, you know, she was obviously a, a captain, a leader. Um, she's been through some bad injuries through her career, and she's shown a lot of toughness and resiliency. And uh, you know, she's uh, she's come through the other end, and she's going to go play at the next level as well. All right, okay, girls, you win a big soccer game. I ask everybody this, and it's your turn to pick where you want to go, hang out at, celebrate, where you want to eat at. Grace, where are you going to pick? Um, maybe Texas Roadhouse. That's a good one. All right. Like Aubrey? Um, well, over the years, uh, we've had a tradition of going to Ben and Jerry's for team bonding at least once a season. Um, so probably taking it to get some well-earned dessert there. <laughs> Man, I know exactly what you're talking about. I wish you wouldn't have said that because I, I haven't had that in a while. <laughs> Louisa, where are we going? Um, probably cook out to get a milkshake and some hush puppies. Yeah. What happens if we let coach pick where we're going? Where's the coach going to pick? Anywhere that gives me chicken and fajitas. I'm good. Okay. There's this pick. Hey, girls. Um, let me think of one more question to ask you. Um, has Providence Day announced what they're doing for graduation yet? Do y'all know yet? Tell yes. me what you're doing. Aubrey, with the personality, tell me what you're doing for graduation. Yes. So the plan is to push it back to July 31st, um, you know, trying to delay it as long as we can um, without, you know, cutting into the time where people are starting to leave for college. So the plan is that hopefully by July 31st, uh, some of the regulations will have lifted and it'll yeah. be safe enough for us to have, you know, more of a traditional graduation with all the seniors um, and, you know, limited a uh, number of family members per senior as well. I approve that plan. You can tell the headmaster. It's uh, It's been very unique to watch what different schools and different school systems are doing. There's been some thought put into that plan, so I give a thumbs up to Providence Day, okay? So that's a good one. Um, Grace, I'll ask everybody one more question. What do you hope 
that people will say about you once you do graduate that uh, how will they, what do you, what do you hope they think about you? The, the girls you leave behind. Um, I guess just like I worked hard on um, all the sports that I did and my schoolwork um, and that I was friendly and tried to like um, encourage my teammates and stuff. Aubrey? Um, probably just understanding the importance of your role and playing that role to the best of your ability. Um, like on the team, I was never a starter, never really a player. And I was fine with that because um, I knew it was my job to, you know, pump everyone up, keep everyone hype, um, cheer everyone on from the bench and just make sure that everyone was having fun um, and playing hard. So just really know being a player where I knew my role and I was dedicated to doing it as best that I could. Louisa? Um, probably like being a leader. I always tried to like reach out to the younger players and encourage everybody and really talk on the field to let people know like where to go or if a man's coming and stuff. So yeah, I guess I would say I hope that they like look as me look to me as a leader. Between the three of you, who is the most organized? I feel like we're all pretty organized. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, I'd but... say so. All right, I'll, I'll come up with another one. Who is the clown on the team? Who's the jokester? Out of us three? Out of just you three. I would say Aubrey. All right. Yeah. Who is the uh, last person to get off the bus or to come out of the locker room? Just the last, the slowest person at everything. Also probably me. <laughs> Oh, There's yeah. always one of those, always. Well, coach and girls, yeah. I sure do appreciate y'all joining me tonight. It, uh, I had never done one of these until uh, mm -hmm. back in the middle of March when we hit all this, and it has become just a big part of, of, of my life and what I enjoy doing. And I'm going to continue to tell the stories of this senior class, the senior spring athletes, as, until I absolutely have to make the move to fall. So I am so glad you joined me. I wish you nothing but the absolute best this summer. I hope you can get back to more of a normal type of life as soon as you can and uh, keep lifting one another up and lift everyone else up. Okay. We appreciate it, Trip. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you girls. You. I'll get this. I'll have this posted thank on you. Twitter very shortly. And uh, thank y'all so much. So for Providence day school, senior girls soccer team, this has been Trip Rokes and his South Charlotte sports report zoom in live. Thank you. And have a good night. All right. Good job, girls. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate Thank it. you. Have a good one.